right, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Let's see what's going on with this fight with these two guys. So, on cast, we know Tyson Fury has made the offer out there to Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn are interested and has accepted for the most part. The only part that seems to be left up on the table is what date that they will fight, either in December or November. Now, I know that Anthony Joshua's team wasn't particularly favoring November. They wanted to do it in December. Um, at first, uh, Tyson Fury's team was only offering uh, November. But they did budge and give Anthony Joshua to December 3rd. And he said he has to make a quick decision. And because the reason is Tyson Fury uh, has to make a decision fast because he has to fight Alexander Uzik. And uh, he said he doesn't want to have to fight him um, late or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But this is the thing that I have to say about this. This is the problem with bringing this stuff up. If... If you were not, if you really are doing this for the fans or whatever, or whatever you want to say, then I'm pretty sure you could budge a little bit as far as on Fury's side to make the fight happen. If it's a genuine offer and you really mean what you said and you really want to give the fans what they want, when you have an opportunity to do it, you don't do it because you don't feel like doing something at a certain time. Which shows it's in his power to do, but he does not feel like it. Okay? It's what he doesn't feel like doing. Versus, I thought you were trying to give the people what they wanted. If you're trying to give people what they wanted, give Team Joshua and Eddie Hearn December 17th like they asked for. It shouldn't be that much sweat off your back. Um, if it's something that he generally wants to do and he's serious about it then it should be no problem. And which begs the question, is Tyson Fury trying to get away from a fight with Uzik because he doesn't feel that he will beat him? Or does he feel like it's a risk and he possibly could lose? And therefore, if he does, well, that puts him further away from his Anthony Joshua sweepstakes. So it's probably better to step in and to do A, B, and C. Because we know Tyson is no stranger to pussyfoot men trying to wig a lot of fights. I believe, hell, didn't we have to go to court to get the, the uh, Deontay Wilder fight? The third one or the second one? I can't remember which one it was. You know? But this is the thing. If you're not going to try to work with the people, once again, these quick deadlines, these quick this, this quick that, you know the man just came off of a loss. It's not necessarily a good idea uh during this mental state but it's a good opportunity so that's basically a lot for the end of the day to say that you don't want to do it just because you don't want to fight somebody later on in the year or you don't want to have to push it back okay if it's really about giving the fans what they want you know what i'm saying i mean man like what is um you know what is 14 more days you know What is that? Just, you know what I'm saying? Just add a few more days to it and then it shouldn't be a problem. But I think in the end, uh, the last re the last detail or last reason why this fight will ever get made is because they want to give the boxing fans what they want. That is almost never the case. That's almost never the case. It's just wise for him to step up and try to fight Anthony Joshua now, even though he could have took this opportunity many moons ago it doesn't have to be like this so every time he has the opportunity to be able to do it where it's not pressured uh you don't have to put on no timeline or something like that he didn't want to do it so of course uh, under these circumstances uh tyson fury extends this kind of offer out but anthony josh was in a you know a particular position so it seems to match and it seems to be something good you know but to not to not want to um, to not want to give a person a fight because you know 14 days overdue when you want to do it or something like that that doesn't really sound like somebody who is really trying to 
uh, be the best or doing this to please the fans or it's about time or this, this. If you see the value in Anthony Joshua, then you are clearly supposed to see the value and giving him the date that he wants if it's all sincere. But like always, this is the problem with boxing at the end of the day. It gets you up just to drop you like a sack of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm pretty sure. I mean, this is nobody's fault, but it just goes to show you the up and downs of boxing. You know, people look into the Savannah Marshall, uh, Chris Shields fight. That's now canceled because of the queen and whatever and whatnot. So boxing is just up and down for all kind of weird reasons. You know, war breaks out over here. It stops boxing over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of situations affect boxing at the end of the day. But like I said, if it was a fight that he really wanted, if he really was going to do this for the fans, if he was really all about that stuff that he said he was, I'm pretty sure on 13, 14 days, you know, so he really is not going to make much of a difference at the end of the day. And there's no guarantee that, you know, he's going to walk away with beating Anthony Joshua any damn way. You know what I'm saying? So there is no guarantees there. So why not extend it? Why not give him the fight that he wants? You're going to get the money that you want. It's going to be... You, you said it's a bigger it's a bigger fight it makes more money it's what people are more interested in it's what people want to see it got all those pluses and you're going to stop that because you know you don't want to have to push it out or nothing like that like that doesn't make no sense but then again that's tyson the gypsy king fury for you that's all i got for now like comment subscribe bruce vane i'm out